Now, we have been talking about a time that you were asked to give your opinion in a survey. And I'd like to discuss with you one or two more general questions related to this. Mm -hmm. Let's consider, first of all, organizations here in Hong Kong that collect information about people's opinions. Mm -hmm. What kinds of organizations want to find out people's opinions? Mm, OK. So um, I have heard about one organization in Hong Kong called Secret Shopper. Yeah, sort of like that name. But uh, it's about like uh, they recruit some people in all around Hong Kong, some maybe different backgrounds, different ages, to go, uh, mystery shopper, yeah, uh, to go to some different shops and do some survey. So what they do is they pretend they're customers. They go to those kind of shops and pretend they're really buying that surface or that good. And then they will have a survey do it secretly. Of course, they are marking with their forms, and then to observe if that company is uh, delivering certain kind of service in good or in bad way. Yeah. Do you think that questionnaires or surveys are good ways of finding out what people really think about something? Mm, yes, I think so. Because if I deliberately ask you to do some survey, of course, you're the one who's using it. And then maybe beforehand, I'm prepared something. I'm preparing something to impress you and maybe give you high, give me higher score. But if I do it like secretly, like that mystery shopper, so like you totally have no idea who is the mystery shopper. So I can make sure you are the one who, I, I'm giving you the accurate surface, which is quite accurate. What reasons might people have for not wanting to give their opinions on a survey? What, sorry, pardon? What reason might people have for not wanting to give their opinions to a surveyor? Opinion that they don't want to give? What reason might people have for not wanting okay. to state their opinion? Uh, if, uh, for example, if the survey includes the name for, um, uh, other than just anonymous, uh, maybe it will influence the service afterwards. For example, I'm com complaining uh, your service is really bad, so you might know that I maybe I trouble some customer. So maybe in the future, you, uh, in a good way, you will do, uh, you will improve your service. But in a bad way, maybe you will just back mouth, like talking about me at my back on my back. <laughs> yeah. Let's move on now and talk about questionnaires in school. Mm -hmm. Do you think it would be a good idea for schools to ask students their opinions about teachers and lessons? Um, yeah, it depends. Like for some good students that they really want to improve the school quality, of course they will give their um, opinion about how they think about the school and the teachers or lessons. But for you know, for them bad students, they don't like class, they don't like that particular teacher, for maybe personally or yeah, for whatever reason. So it might not be that accurate. What would the advantages for schools be, though, if they asked students their opinion? Mm, I guess for the advantages, uh, it would be the teachers um, will improve their the quality when teaching because it's not just a te um, the students' responsibility to work hard. Sometimes for students who are interested in that uh, particular subject, it also depends on how um, innovative or um, funny is that teacher is. So I guess it would be a quite good thing to have that survey. Would there be any disadvantages in asking students' opinions? Mm, yeah, I guess it yeah, it will, uh, for the teachers especially, because um, when they know they are being surveyed, so it would be quite, or evaluated, it would be quite a big pressure for them. Okay. Yeah. Thank you very much. That's the end of the speaking test. Thank you.